Hi everyone. So in this video, I'm going to explain about uh, how to display, how to display elements of character array, nothing but all characters, character array using for each loop, using for each loop. So first of all, we should understand what is for each loop. So we know that it is called enhanced for loop and it is since JDK5. In JDK fifth version, they introduced it is enhanced for loop. It is enhanced for loop. So, what is the main purpose? Means what? Just process array or collection easily. But there are some limitations also. Limitations means what? It can process only one element and only in forward direction. Can process can process element by element and only in forward direction. Only in a forward direction. You cannot move in the backward direction. And it is not taking index. It is not index based. It will start from the beginning and it will stop at the end. Whenever it reaches the end, then it will stop automatically. No need to specify the index. So let me show you the examples. I'll apply for both. Both means what? If it is an integer array, integer array. I'm just giving some integer values, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And how can we display means for, so not semicolon is just a colon, is a colon. Okay. And right side, what we have to specify means what that array, A, R, R, you have to specify. There is no indexing starting with one, ending with length minus one. No need to give all these things. Okay, just you have to specify the array. From this array, each element, it will pick directly. But you have to specify what is the type of that element. It's an integer element. So we just collect into that integer type element. Integer element we collect. Right. After collecting this, directly you are printing. Here variable name is your wish. You can take x, y, z, a, b, c. And we are just printing that system dot out dot print ln x. That is. Again, no need to access arr of i, arr of 0, 1, 2, 3, no. From this array, it will start iterating element by element and it will give. We should collect that as it is an integer type. See, it will show you that all values. In the same way, suppose if it is a character array, char array, for example, I'm taking the ovals. Ovals I'm taking, A, E, I, O, U, ovals I'm taking. This is now the same story in place of this array. We are just giving that now the new array name is ovals. And from this ovals array, each element it will return. The type is what is a character. So taking into that character type variable, any variable name and that variable we are printing. The variable. So this is the simple way of printing the values. Okay, using the for each loop. It is since JDK 5. It is called enhanced for loop. It is not depending on index. But what is the only limitation? It can process the elements only in forward direction. And all elements. I want to display the data in reverse order means you cannot use for each loop. You must go with for loop only. Okay, hope you understood. Please practice the code, execute the code and check the output. Thank you all.